okay so let's take a look at how you can use tile objects in gdevelop so first thing make sure that you have downloaded and installed gdevelop and next thing we are going to take a look at some of the tile sprites okay so i mostly take the tile sprites from open game art or if you want you can also go for hio okay so here is the HIO. Okay. Here you can check for assets. Okay. You can go for browse and then game assets. Okay. Here you can see plenty of spreadsheets. Okay. On the left hand side, you also have the listing of paid assets. So let's see if you want to use something like this swamp part or maybe rpg one okay as you can see this is the spreadsheet that you have to manually cut those element and use them in your project okay so let's take a look at one of that as you can see it has these individual elements lined up that you can take out and make your own tile set or map okay now let's say if i just want to individually cut out wall or maybe this tree or even water okay so i have to edit that sprite sheet okay you get something like this sprite sheet okay here you can see if we zoom in okay you get element like this right so in most of the cases you can simply drag and drop these elements through editors like tile editor but if you choose to edit that psd or maybe for that png file what you can do is you can open editor it looks something like this here you can see i have these elements here okay if i choose to edit this green and wall brick copy this okay now i'm going to create new image and i have to adjust the width and height to this particular element now i have to save this to let's say desktop let's save it as grass right this was one then we have wall okay so let's go and copy this and create new element again right now adjust your width and height to match this particular elements width and height right now let's see we add wall now that we have our elements next thing would be to open gdevelop create new project let's go with something empty so empty game right now what we can do is we can add new element and with that a new scene game you can edit its name simply going for rename let's say make it main scene right double click on that so that main scene tab appears save this now we can add objects and in object go for tile sprite okay now here let me add first thing which is grass now select the image okay on desktop we have our grass we have to copy this in our folder as well click apply let's add one more tile sprite which is wall okay now select image wall right simply drop it right and select it now considering this is tile sprite you can repeat its occurrence simply keep moving 
so to do this you have to make sure that first the sprite is selected and this option for manipulating that comes like dot and these squares right so let me add the wall here now I can also add some grass right so let's put something like this Right. next thing we can copy this again and drop one more instance right and now we can check if it works okay as you can see the wall element along with the grass Okay, make sure you do a bit better editing than what I have done here so that it looks a bit lot genuine and not with some gaps like this. Okay, the upper one, grass one, looks pretty okay for me. So you have to do a bit of editing with patience. Okay, so I have done that in a bit of sloppy way considering I have to make the video. So I have done it a bit rushed. Okay, so make sure to pay attention to the edges and also the gaps otherwise it won't look genuine okay so get the idea how to use tile sprite in gdevelop